King Charles told to do one thing after Prince Harry lists US as primary residence. The precise day that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were evicted from Frogmore Cottage is revealed in new documents, as King Charles is persuaded to take one further action. The Duke of Sussex has made it apparent that he no longer resides in Britain by updating his official business records in this nation. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The US is now listed as Prince Henry Charles Albert David Duke of Sussex's new country slash state usually resident, according to documents released by Companies House yesterday. The United Kingdom was the preceding entry. According to the document, which Buckingham Palace released last year, Harry was able to determine the exact date as the one on which he moved out of Frogmore Cottage. After the file that essentially severs his links to Britain, royal author Angela Levin has now requested the King to revoke his son's position as a Councillor of State to stand in for the monarch should it be needed. According to a document made public yesterday, Harry's residence is now in America, according to Ms. Levin's post on X. He can't possibly expect full-time security from the top brass. Nor meddle with the media that we use. Nor serve as a councillor of state to act in the monarch's place if necessary. Harry no longer resides in the UK, as required by law for councillors of state. The Prince Andrew and his older daughter Princess Beatrice, Queen Camilla, Prince William, Harry, and Prince Andrew served as the councillors of state until 2022. Only two remain as Harry, Andrew, and Beatrice are not employed by the royal family, and are therefore unlikely to be asked, to stand in for the king. Given that this would put the monarchy in jeopardy, Prince Edward and Princess Anne were appointed councillors of state. After his memoir Spare was published, Charles gave the order for the pair to leave Frogmore Cottage, which had been a wedding present from Queen Elizabeth. The request was claimed to have deeply wounded Harry. Charles and William knew it had to be done to emphasize Harry and Meghan were outside the firm, but he probably still thought he could keep a base here, royal author Phil Dampier said to The Sun. He has now expressed acceptance that his life is in the US. Prince Harry stated that obtaining US citizenship is not a priority, but it is believed that he is thinking about doing it after his relocation. Since then, the King's cancer treatment has made the situation even more critical, and his councillors of state are acting on his behalf while he receives treatment. It, the change of residency, clearly finalises the split with Britain, as the Sussexes have had no British base after their eviction from Frogmore Cottage, veteran royal critic Richard Fitzwilliams exclusively told Express.co.uk. As we know he has lost his attempt to challenge the security arrangements currently in place when he and his family visit Britain. Following the Princess of Wales's announcement of her cancer diagnosis this week, Meghan Markle's request for peace with Princess Kate from three years ago has gone popular on social media. The Duchess of Sussex and husband Prince Harry had a shocking interview with Oprah Winfrey back in March 2021, and when they made a number of claims, it further strained relations between the two and the royal family. However, Meghan seemed to take advantage of the interview to ask for an end to royal fans' attempts to place her against Kate. A fan posted a video of the interview on TikTok, where it has received hundreds of comments and tens of millions of views. The video seems to be from the part where Meghan talked about how Kate had made her cry. Meghan seems to have won over royal fans with the first, ten words of her monologue, If you love me, you don't have to hate her. I'm not sharing that piece about Kate in any way to be disparaging to her, she stated in the interview. I really believe that it is imperative that everyone comprehend the reality. But a lot of it, I believe, was also influenced by the media. And because she's a nice person, I would have hoped that she would have wanted that corrected, and perhaps in the same way that the palace wouldn't let anybody else negate it, they wouldn't let her. And I think so much of what I have seen play out is this idea of polarity, where if you love me, you don't have to hate her, 
the Duchess said in her ten-word plea. You don't have to despise me if you love her, 